episode looks legit. <laughs> See, hold on, hold on. All right, guys, sub podcast. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We're in, uh, what episode? I don't even know what episode this is. 118? 118. Sub podcast episode 118, and it's the regular crew. It's the dynamic trio or the terrific trio of me, Lawrence, and Luke. Here we go. The CLL, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. CLL. The LLC, uh, dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. The LLC. All right. There we go. The original All right. LLC. I don't like how my name is last, but that's cool. Uh, if you for, know, for, uh, for flow purposes. For flow purposes and, you know, save the best for last, I, I'm putting air quotes <laughs> up. Don't air quote my shit. Um, <laughs> welcome to Sub Podcast, the, uh, the Sneaker LLC podcast. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Chris Cheney. Virtually still across from me, we got Lawrence and Luke. What's up, guys? You know. What's up, bro? Scheming, the original. Scheming. Um, so, uh, as I hit record, we were looking at some shoes that Luke bought, which are pretty fucking sus. Did not buy them yet. Did oh, not you didn't pay for them yet. yet. All right, so hold, let's just kind of let's let's kind of just get into Luke. So you you uh you saw a pair of Travis Scott sixes on eBay. Yeah, for like ten minutes left on on the on the auction, they were like three fifty was like where they were hanging out. And I was like, oh, somebody's going to try and snipe these, you know, at like a high price. So I put in a bid for like 500 It got only up to like 450 And then I told the dude, yo, send me these pictures. And he was like, I, he's like, why didn't you ask me for this shit before? It's like, all right, that's already kind of a sus response to that, you know? <laughs> I don't like that. And then, uh, and then he <laughs> sent me the pictures. And, and bro, bro, I, I put them up on Reddit for like sneaker heads to look at uh-huh. and nobody's gotten back to me yet but i'm getting upvoted so i might get some good karma out of this <laughs> my one thing is the the jump man on the, the bottom of the sole pull it up in uh in the screen share all right wait hold up hold up hold my phone this is the problem with ebay man you know because this guy's gonna try to if this if if I don't buy these, he's gonna probably try to bitch at me and be like, "How could you do this?" Blah blah blah. It's like my guy. Well, yeah, he's it, definitely going to. Here's my thing for the people who aren't looking at the pictures. The number one red flag is the pictures that the gentleman sent Luke. He has a stadium goods receipt that he's showing that he paid eight hundred and fifty dollars for the sneakers that yeah. he is sold on eBay for five hundred dollars. So mm-hmm. he is taking a three hundred and fifty dollar loss. Um, minus fees. So when you start doing that, now you're talking 400 bucks. 400 bucks. Already I, suspect. That right there is the biggest red flag. If they were, if he had, a, you know, there's no tag pick. So it doesn't have his, his screen name. No, there is a tag pick. Hold on. Where is it? It's just really bad. It's like upside down and, uh, well, what that's kind of one. Yeah, right here. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. When I say t- not, not the, not the barcode, I mean a tag with his screening, with his eBay. Username. Oh yeah. There's no there's no username tags. Uh so I mean those are definitely red flags. Yeah. I'm red just... flagged at these uh, these blob men on the bottom of the shoe. Okay, but look at the re- wait. <laughs> it looks like he has three it looks like he has three feet. But look at the, the, the real one. Have you looked at the real one? It kind of looks like he's got three feet on that one too. Well, here, I hold mean, on. You while you, you look for it, I'll make it so you can share your screen too. Well, here, here's what I will say in a situation like this, and honestly, Luke, I will say this because of the lack of picks that he has, he has not tagged any of these pictures. He could have gotten these pictures from anywhere. anywhere. So these, these could totally be legit sneakers, okay? But the oh, big shit. red flag is, like I said, the fact that he will be losing four hundred dollars on a sale, which I, which to me, that's not going to happen. Yeah. And and second, like I said, you can get those. There's no pictures with his name, the date, your name, anything to indicate that these are legit. So I feel like, and that's the issue that I feel like we have with eBay when you purchase. Oh, I guess, I guess they do kind of look terrible on the bottom of the shoe. Like Mm -hmm. you never really look at the bottom of the shoe, but yeah, I never noticed that. But on the sole of the shoe, it looks like Jordan has three legs for, for three legs. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question because this is uh yeah. this is an honest question I want to ask both of you guys. Look, were these personals or were you just buying them to later resell at a later date? I was gonna I was gonna buy and hold. So you were gonna buy and hold. These weren't these were these weren't personals. No, okay. these weren't personals. 
I was gonna say because sometimes when you when you're doing that, I was gonna say if you're if you're looking for personals that are a little you know underpriced, I would always you know check used sneakers. I've never purchased a pair of used sneakers, so I don't really know you know what the deal is. But if you're looking to, to hold and sell later, I mean that's really this is yeah this is no good. Yeah, that's no good. And and that's and let's and let's have this conversation because I feel like a lot of times like eBay is definitely trying to. Uh, they're trying to uh, more so legitimize their their sneaker marketplace, and I feel yeah. like a lot of it, it's uh, because of situations like this. Like you know, you can pretty much, you know, you could, if you could get away with selling a pair of fake sneakers to someone, then you've gotten away with it. Whereas when you look at StockX, Goat, Flight Club, Stadium Goods, these you know these type of riff, you know, all these stores, you're not. I mean, obviously, fakes pass through, but you know, your chances of 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 getting a fake is very very thin. Whereas with eBay, you take eBay and Grail, you're taking a big risk when you're purchasing. Well, wait, Lawrence and Luke, you could probably speak to this too. Just go back for a little second because there were some requirements that you were sort of, or like guidelines you were trying to follow when the purchase, like, so the, like the name tag, right? You always yeah. want to see a name tag. Um, and it, the, the date, right? Like what are some of the other things guys that you look for when you're purchasing off uh, mainstream market like secondary like eBay, like Instagram, some of these other things when you look for in the images of the sneaker? Uh, I usually try to look for stitching. That's like, like another, like it's always tough to find, like look at stitching. Like I'm looking at the, the stitching on on, uh, on these and you know, the there's like a little bit of like, there's fraying at a, like a couple areas where I'm like, I don't think they're supposed to be fr like Travis Scott's are, are specifically a little bit difficult with stitching because they have a little bit of a frayed look to them, you know? Well, also the other thing is like these images are pretty low quality. That's the other like, thing that's kind of annoying about them. Like, like, I don't know. Like if you have like a bad Android, like I kind of get how like you could have these types of photos, but for the most part, everyone's phone has a better camera than this. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why I asked him for more pictures because the the shoes themselves looked light when I when I was uh, when I was bidding on them, uh, which is why I was like, all right, well maybe it's just his camera, you know. And then when you look at him closer, like the more the more I look at him, the more I'm like, I think I was just trying to convince myself that these are fine. <laughs> like look at this photo right here. It looks like he took this in Iraq with like a Nokia phone. Right, and there's like there's so many things like that are a little bit sus about it. Like, for one thing, like the one thing that I that I did know about like when you're legit checking the sneakers is that the um, the bags uh, on on them are usually like they're they're attached to the shoe on the on the legitimate pairs, and then on the fake pairs they're not they're not attached, and they have the. Oh, you're saying the, the cargo pocket, this thing. No, 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 not, not the cargo pot. The laces, the laces are attached to the shoe. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I understand. So like the laces are attached to the shoe. And when I saw that, I was like, all right, well, these will probably be legit. And then the more, you know, the more you look at them, the more you're just like, something's just, there's too many things just a little bit off, you know? Well, L, I mean, what are some other things that you look for when you're shopping on some of these other types of uh, like more illegitimate markets, we'll call them? Well, um, to keep it 100 with you guys, I don't really purchase any sneakers from eBay or um, or Grail or anything where it's kind of like it could be questionable. Right. Uh, um, I I mean, honestly, I'm going to keep a real with you. A lot of the sneakers that I've, you know, I've purchased are, are pretty much retail or bust. I mean, there are occasions, you know, where I've purchased like, you know, I purchased a couple pairs of sneakers, you know, uh, through StockX, but it's uh, it's very rare. And a lot of the times, even with StockX, I've been like super paranoid as well. And I've had to do like crazy legitimate checks uh, through it. But like on eBay, it, it's hard, man, because it's the wild, wild west out there. Like, like, like you said, like you can, a person could send you legitimate pictures and then send you a, some bullshit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So that's also true. That's also you know true. what I just heard recently is that um, StockX in particular is they have uh, like a, I don't want to say like a, a VIP like client list, but they have uh. um, a tiered sort of list of clients where they will, they'll use a more veteran type of person to sell to a more VIP client in order to make sure that the shoes are legit in, in, in either exchange in taking or uh, selling. But it's interesting, interesting. 
that so for people like us three in the listeners who don't have any sort of clout within the world of StockX, we're getting it could be day one. Jacob just got hired. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're like, yo, let's get some Travis sixes, and the dude will just hand us the box and not even look them over. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you, you got – I mean, StockX is taking a lot of heat in terms of being a, a legit checks now. I mean, I, I mean, I do think that they do have some sort of, you know, better process. Uh, obviously, I think fake's going to get through through all platforms, you know, whether it's, yeah. you know, flight club, state – like, you know, I mean, the, the way these factories are making one-of-ones now that, you know, it's sometimes you look at, you know, a rep – sneaker versus a legit sneaker and you're like oh shit like these rep sneakers are just as on point as a factory yeah. made sneaker or just I've seen, as, it. Uh, I've seen it i mean i i've seen it too so you get to the point where sometimes you know it's you know the old saying it's like well if you miss out on the first day you better get them really fast uh yeah. before the factories and uh, you know making some the most on point reps you know that I can get through Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that goes with a lot of sneakers, you know, especially the height ones, you know, so like Travis Scott, like the Travis Scott ones, for example, like a lot of, you know, a lot of rep Travis Scott ones were getting through because, you know, but you had to, you know, you had to do a lot of legit checks with whether it was the UV light and, and certain, certain different things that it gets. To oh, yeah. Wait, up. speak on the speak on the V, uh, the UV light for a second. I don't know if a lot of the uh, listeners know about that. I mean, it, I know it had to do something with uh, where you UV light the, um, I think it was the tongue or some, or one of, one of the, or like the, the uh, not the medial side. I'm not sure where it was, but you can UV light the, uh, the, the, the ones, to, you know, that helps out a lot too in terms of doing uh, fake checks. I mean, it, you know, there's a lot of different things, bro, but stitching, um, you know, I, I mean, for example, I mean, I bought the Strange Loves, and you know, and and um, you there. I mean, obviously, I, the fakes are aren't as good as the legits. There's certain ones, there's certain ways. Like, I mean, like I said, when I had the legit check, I was fucking, you know, tearing my brains out because I was like, all right, you don't want to get a fake pair, but then you there's certain things that the reps, the factory rep, the the rep sneakers haven't perfected yet. Whereas the Travis got one, it's a lot easier. You know, yeah. when you're dealing with certain sneakers, there's, you know, there's materials, there's things that they got to get right. So when you look at a pair of Travis Scott sixes, I mean, this is almost, this is a sneaker that's almost a year old now. That's true. That's true. That's true. Also, yeah, with the UV, you could do a UV check on the sixes because they have that glow in the dark joints mm-hmm. on them. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, yeah, sometimes when you, uh, I saw in a video, Cause I was just looking up all of this shit. Uh, they like if you UV light the, um, I think the tongue on the sixes, you could see like if there's like a white kind of area that comes up, it's because like the stitching is like I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like the stitching is off or something, mm-hmm. and it's like it it has like this translucent thing to it because they use like a cheaper material for it. I think we've discussed different ways that they can fix some of the fake shit in the past ep- like on other episodes but i would love something that's on the same plane as like check like if the money is legit not if you actually take the sneaker and put it up to the sun and you see something but i would love to have some sort of like check like that i guess uv is the best way to go i don't know yeah. if it's that well, easy to replicate that what what nike is doing uh with with new pairs is they have you know these these barcodes now yeah the barcodes is new and uh, that's you know that's about a year, a, 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 like a year and a half old. I not think crazy old. Say again. Not crazy old. No, it's like no, no, no. Like the, like yeah, it's mm-hmm. relatively new. And I think though that's uh, one of the ways that they're trying to combat, you know, fakes from getting through. Uh, I think what you're gonna have to do is, I mean, you know, eventually you're gonna have to make those barcodes, um, very. Uh, not one of one ish, but like you're gonna have to do something so that yeah. way, you know, you you know, to combat the fakes. But at the end of the day, I mean, fake market is, you know, it, it's a money maker. Yeah. It's a fucking money maker, man. It is a money maker. It's true. So Luke, you gonna buy them or you're actually gonna go through with this or what? Like what what are you what are we doing here? Probably not. I'm probably gonna tell him like, bro, you can give me a negative rating. I'm not paying for these. You know? I mean all right. <laughs> yeah well i think that's i mean that's probably one of you know if you 
genuinely your heart don't feel that way, I feel like, yeah, I mean, if you, if, if he can give you tagged pictures with his, with your, you know, your username, the date, you know, you, then you could start doing a, a more thorough, legit check. But if he's just giving you some random photos, you know, that, that to so, me, turn, it turns it off. So like, the, I'm not. Yeah, gonna, those pictures I, I asked for. Yeah, exactly. Those pictures that I asked for were very, I asked for very specific pictures. Like some of them, like some of them you could tell, like, were from the listing, like pretty much all of the wider shot ones. The ones where they were like close up, I was like, give me exactly this, this, and this. Because mm -hmm. I figured like if I could look at the Jordan logo, the Jordan logo is usually like I can usually spot on the Jordan logo when it's when it's legit or mm -hmm. not. But these like I keep comparing them to the to like the ones uh just like a legit pair and it's they look very close. Mm -hmm. And then there's just yeah, there's so many, just too many factors. Yeah, I don't I don't want to stress out about this. You Did know? you also no. just Google his username? Uh, what do you mean? That sometimes I've done that where like if it's a situation where I'm not sure if I completely trust the seller, is I'll just Google the seller's username or like their their tag or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you can see if there's any history of and like uh, on other snipes. If it's like this person sell fakes or that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I checked on his I checked on his feedback. I did that. Yeah, that's uh, a that's a good step too. Yeah, I, I did that. I checked like I did like a quick because you know I only had like ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So I looked it over. I checked his his feedback. He had like a hundred percent rating. I looked at some of the other stuff he sold, and it was just like not really anything like hype or anything. So I was like, I don't know. It's, he, he seems like a regular seller, which is what was like all right. I'll take the risk, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, no, no money spent yet. So no foul yet. All right, good. Well, you know, like I'm I trying. said, I, I, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the biggest eBay fan in terms of purchasing sneakers from, but, uh, you know, like I said, there are certain steps I feel like you can do to kind of minimize your risk of getting scammed mm -hmm. by, by a seller. I've bought like a couple things on eBay, but it's never hype stuff, you know? Like I'll buy like like the Jordan mids that I bought were like 110 bucks on there, and you know nobody's gonna fake mid. Oh yeah, uh, Luke is our official mid representative uh, of the podcast. I feel like there, you know, there's not enough uh, of us mid guys. <laughs> I think it's I'm crazy. the high, right? M mid, low, Lawrence, right? Is that how we're doing this? I mean, if you if you want to say that, I mean, I, I love I have a bunch of highs, so you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, mids. at the end, of, yeah. Go ahead. At, at the end of the day, I feel like Jordan ones, no matter what they are, highs, mids, lows, they have. I mean, they, you know, they're fucking selling now. I mean, Jordan. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've always they've been selling for the past five or six years. But I mean, goddamn, like you know, anything that pretty much comes out that has Jordan one behind it is 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 selling out, man. I'm pro mid just because I'm a short guy. I can kind of get away with it because they look high on me, you know. <laughs> like oh that's very funny like i'm telling you like if you saw me in them you'd be like those are highs right and like nope i'm just a short guy <laughs> i'm just five five <laughs> i'm just a five five six buddy all right don't get it <laughs> twisted, don't get it twisted. <laughs> um that's i what, mean what no go go that's why that's why i'm a mids guy now is because you know you got to embrace that you're a short guy nobody really notices on short guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's funny. That's, I, that's uh, the proportion thing is very funny to me. Um, but I mean, just moving forward, it's still like a slow sneaker news, sneaker going on uh, week. I feel yeah. like COVID has really, uh, this is like the gap in <clears throat> the releases that uh, we're finally seeing. There's not a lot of stuff coming out. There's not a lot of things dropping in general. We're just getting more updates as things goes on. Like there's an update that uh, like we thought the Bacons were coming out in April for Air yeah. Max Day. That I'm getting re seeing reports that they're being pushed to uh, next year's Air Max Day. Wild. Which I mean I don't know. I the I mean Air Max Day in general for the Nikes the past couple of years has been rough, but um, hopefully coming out of this everybody can align their ducks correctly. Uh, oh. especially like the bacons, you know what I mean? Well, cold I mean, ducks. Yeah, the cold ducks, yeah. I mean, this week is actually not that bad in terms of sneaker releases. We got the, uh, we got like this, the, uh, the champion color, uh, dunks that are coming out the, the, uh, the, uh, blue and orange ones and, mm -hmm. and dunk lows are, you know, obviously 
you know, they – I mean, every dunk load that's come out this year is pretty much – Yeah, but what I'm saying, it's, like, all the stuff we've been, like, seeing and waiting for. You know what I mean? There hasn't been any, like, crazy surprise drops. There's no big updates of the stuff coming out. I mean, the, the, the biggest pack that I saw that's coming out that people were sort of pressing about was the 4th of July pack that Nike's doing. It's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shoes – all red, white, and blue. But that's the only thing, co- like, upcoming that was new that I didn't know about. Well, that I was like, oh, this is a kind of, like, a big drop. Well, we, mm-hmm. I mean, we got another we got another uh, Duck Camo uh, Air Max 90 coming out this week. Oh, orange uh, ones? The orange ones. Yeah. We, got, uh, we got the tie-dye Jordan 1 women that are coming out. I mean, nothing that's, you know, so insane. The tie-dye uh, Jordans, people are going to, you know, go crazy for. They are women's colorway. Yeah, um, I saw those with a lace swap, with like a mint lace swap. Ooh, mm-hmm. though they look really good with that. With like a good lace swap, those will look very nice. That's what I'm saying. Like those, uh, you know, we got uh, on the 27th, we got the Jordan uh, 11 low. Mm-hmm. Um, once again, nothing that uh, that we're gonna go crazy, crazy for. But I mean, there's still some releases. I mean, a lot of the the, the releases that were in June that. Uh, have got like you said they did get pushed back to July whether it was the uh, the uh, St. John's uh, dunks and then the space hippies mm-hmm. yep, but, yeah uh, I mean the, been... the Werther spoons are coming out this month too the Asics yes. at most ones oh yeah but this, these I... are all things that we've been like seeing though we've been sitting on all this info mm-hmm well, what do you, I mean, what do you want them to drop, drop a hyper strike or like, what do you want? What do you want? Like, yeah, like, I would love a hyper strike. Hyper strike would be sick. I mean, you know, you're not, I mean, what do you want? Like a super limited pair of sneakers that come out? What do you want? Like a pair of, you know, nah, I, not, I don't, I, first of all, I don't want anything. I'm just like in, in this COVID like adjustment back into society, things getting normalized phase two type shit. There mm-hmm. hasn't been any capitalization on the, the normalizing of uh, the world getting back to their shit together, you know? Yeah. I, I, I kind of disagree. I mean, I feel like there's been a lot of drops that, you know, have uh, have come out during COVID that, you know, people have, you know, been going crazy for, whether it was, you know, whether it was the 13, the Flints, the Fire Red Fives, uh, you know, the OG Fives, the fucking Fear of Gods, the Brazils. I mean, we've had, uh, you know, what was it, the... Uh, the 420 skunks or whatever, the reverse skunks. Yep. We've had some things come out. I mean, during COVID, we had the Ben and Jerry's come out. I mean, those were fun. Yeah, I'm not saying that nothing's come out, but I'm saying, like, there was a big gap, you know, in, like, in releases and a bunch of stuff got pushed back. And I thought yeah. there were, someone would would capitalize on the well, sort of, I don't, not the open market, but, like, the la- like the lack of market. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, well, I mean, the, you also uh, got to re- the new space. You got to realize, I mean, come on, like, you know, there was a couple of weeks where it was a lot of civil unrest. I mean, still going on, but I mean, Nike also was yeah. smart to, you know, push those releases out. I mean, you had the COVID releases. So, I mean, it's an interesting time. I mean, uh, I do, I did hear a word this week that we are going to get some uh, Dior one uh, raffle information. I believe on the 25th, that's a rumor going around that there's going to be information on that raffle. Um, so, I mean, things are coming out and, you know, and it's just, it all depends on what you view it as, but I mean, yeah, it's been slow because people haven't been able to get in stores, but now that stores are opening in New York, I'm sure a lot of these stores are going to have the shit that was supposed to be online in stores. I just realized how much more nuts the raffles are going to be for the Dior's now that everybody's got their COVID money. Yeah, dude, it's going to be nuts. Because, like, before, it was like, oh, if there's a $2,000 price tag, there's gonna, there's obviously just going to be a drop in the amount of people uh, submitting for these raffles. And now we, everybody's, got, everybody's got two grand in the bank, you know? Uh, yeah, if they no, were spending you're their wrong. money responsibly, it's going to be even worse. Um, I mean, not a, listen, not everyone was unemployed. Not everyone lost their job. I mean, you know. That's some, also true. I mean, some people still have to, you know, to work. I mean, I. I I think I think at the end of the day, uh, and I've gone on record as saying that yeah, this is a, a release that not many people are going to get their hands on. Um, a lot of people are predicting that these sneakers are going to resell for you know ten grand plus, which you know I'm I, I mean shit. I really I hate to say it like that, but I'm like I don't know who in this current economy is really going to put out 
10 grand for a pair of Jordans. I mean, like I said, I could be wrong, but I just don't see. I mean, I can see, I mean, obviously a $2,000 shoe, I mean, they're going to resell for seven, eight, seven grand, but I mean, 10, $15,000 is some people are predicting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can try to see it. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, you do like the rapper, celebrity, like money, like different tax bracket shit. Like 10 grand ain't shit. You know what I mean? Jeff Goldblum I mean, would. Well, listen, here it is. 10 grand <laughs> well, have, no, he would not. Yes, he would. Have you not seen his uh, his his sneaker shopping episode? He's a fucking, he's, he's, he's one of us. Uh, I don't know if he's 10K Dior, but. Mm, I spent uh, two ten thousand dollars on a pair of uh, Dior's. That's what I did. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that was very accurate, but also uh, somehow like not even close. Just not even close. But this is the right energy. That's it. It's yeah, just the energy. Right. It's just weird, creepy. What's up with your daughter? Energy, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, were you about to say something? Yeah. I was going to say, I mean, it's going to be tough. I mean, like I said, you know, obviously some people are going to still spend the money, but it's going to be tough to get people to come off 10, 15 grand, especially entertainers. And, and, a, and where we're in an unknown, we're in a pandemic where people aren't, you know, still performing and making the fast cash like they used to. I mean, people are used to being able to make, you know, 10 grand at a nightclub with parents, you know, it's, it's a little different right now. So, yeah. True. Um, but yeah, I do look forward to taking the loss on, you know, on, on all the sneakers and the clothing, uh, and not being able to uh, make more money. Yeah. Uh, cause I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, you get a pair of those, I mean, you know, you got to fucking, you know, take that fucking money and run with it, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I wonder when, uh, when all of the merchandise for the Travis Scott, the Cactus Trail stuff, mm -hmm. I wonder when that stuff is actually going to start releasing. Do you know what I mean? Because like, there was like a bunch of stuff that he released on his website mm -hmm. that uh, I don't think has shipped out yet. Because uh, I bought a Sherpa hoodie, and I want to see how that looks when it comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, there's been like no production on those. I also bought the Fortnite action figures because... I can't afford those that rodeo action figure. Well, it's, I mean, it's funny because, like you said, the Fortnite stuff still hasn't shipped out, and that, that was before all the Cactus Trail stuff. So, mm -hmm. yo, I I'm feel not... like I feel like rappers are like so bad at shipping out their own product. Yeah, I got a I got a friend who I think it was Frank Ocean's last album, where the one he came yeah. out with. He bought the vinyl, and he still hasn't gotten it. No shit. Yeah, really? I feel like rappers are always terrible at shipping their own shit. That's unless tough. unless they're like an old school one. Like I see Lloyd Banks, and he's selling Matt. He's like like writing novels on each of the shirt packages, going like, "Thank you so much for supporting me." Shipping that out, but no, we still can't get the Lloyd the Banks shit. doesn't have a chance. Like he doesn't have. Uh, he has to, you know. He doesn't have a choice, really. Yeah, we're we're not we're not going to compare Lloyd Banks to Travis Scott. Like Could we're not going to. Do... Yeah, go ahead. We're not. Gonna, I'm not gonna do that for either either rapper. Like I just don't. That's not fair to either one. Like we're not like gonna compare Lloyd Banks selling signing merchandise compared to argue, arguably one of the top three or four. No, but you guys get what I'm right saying, now. though. It's like just ship the shit already. Like, what's the problem? It's yeah, true. but you you know how many people have ordered probably Travis Scott merchandise, and, and a lot of that shit I'm sure is uh you know it's made to order. So once you know they get the orders in, then they start producing it. I'm sure with COVID, obviously things are, you know, if they're already a slow pace with, with Travis Scott merchandise, then I'm sure with COVID, things are taking even longer. Uh, but yeah, the Fortnite stuff hasn't even shipped. So it's like, okay, what do you think the, the Cactus Trails things are going to? Yeah, exactly. Are you just imagining Travis Scott in a warehouse just trying to ship everything out for everybody? No, shut the, he <laughs> obviously is not the one. It's a drastically different. Why did I even try to make a comparison here? Of, <laughs> of course, it, tra Travis Scott is not like in the warehouse folding the clothing, putting him in the thing. All I'm saying is just like, com like if you're if you're like a current hype musician, you're not like it takes three years to get anything that mm -hmm. you order from them. Yeah. And also, you guys see that Travis Scott purchased a $23 million home? Yes. Oh, I saw Ariana Grande purchase like a $36 million home. I think it was 23 too. or $25 million home. One of the two. I forgot. Yeah, Tra one, Travis it. bought a new house. Cash, cash money. Yeah. With all our sneaker profit money. Yeah, he's got the warehouse in the basement. <laughs> Great cash, homie. Now he does. Yeah. 
And he's like, now, now I can ship out all this stuff. <laughs> Dude, if I had that type of money, yeah, I would for sure build a factory in my house just to make whatever the fuck I want. That yeah, for sure. Like a for 3D sure. Printer. 3D print. Yo, I'd have a 3D printer. Uh, see, this is the dumb shit I would do. I wouldn't get like you know how rich people usually have like a chef or some shit. They have like an in-house chef. I'd have like a pattern master. Uh-huh. <laughs> I I'd have like. Some guy, uh, I don't know, like a maintenance guy for all these machines. I bought like an embroidery machine. Fucking, I would do it. Mm-hmm. I'd have the works in my crib. <laughs> so that way I could just wake up and be like, what do I feel like wearing today? Do I not own it? Why don't I just make it real quick? Do a little diesel do on the laptop, send it to my guy. And then the next thing I know, I'll walk out the house and brand new shit that I just made. I mean, that is, I like that. That's cool. That would be my shit for sure. Uh, what would I do? I'd I'd probably if I was rich, I would be wasting all of my money on Asia baby girls. They would be yeah, like, buy me yeah. this. They'd be like, buy me this, and I'd be like, yeah, okay, no problem. Daddy's got you. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, listen, man. As comedians, do not say nothing that in five years is gonna come back to haunt you. Right? I just want to make this clear: <laughs> Asian, Asian baby girls are not eighteen years old. They're all around twenty. Around there, it's right, a nice right. sweet spot where they've right, had cool. some time to think about being an adult. <laughs> do not that's what i'm saying do not say anything that is going to get you fucking canceled all right bro should i should i make an edit where it's asian baby girls under 23 <laughs> sweet spot <laughs> <laughs> just edit all this together and just make luke sound the creepiest as possible like, creepiest as possible. Have, with this ever, mustache bro what i have no chance <laughs> you ever seen that video of homer simpson where he was he grabbed the gummy venus uh the milo uh, gummy off of the girl's button and then he edited it <laughs> yes, to make yes. him look like a fucking a monster that's what that's what we gonna do. <laughs> sweet, 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 oh, sweet, oh, sweet, yeah. sweet 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 under 23 not even we don't even keep the girl part i just edit out so he keeps saying asian baby <laughs> <laughs> asian babies <laughs> nuts oh shit oh, yeah God. man yeah, oh, uh, Travis Scott, $23 million mansion. Send us our shit, dude. <laughs> uh, I, can't, I can't buy I, You know, I'm starting to get to that point in my life now where it's hard for me to buy from a place that doesn't have a, a return policy. Just in yeah. case. Like when, I, like, when you get that merch and shit, and, and it's no, this can go back if I don't truly like it. Like, yeah. Mm-mm. Like I, I I fucking hate that shit, man. Like unless you could you could flip it, but I mean a lot of times, you know, you're taking a loss on it, you know. But that's where I'm at right now. Mm-hmm. Like that's why I can't purchase. Like I would purchase the Travis Scott shit, but I'm like, there's no return, and I'm like, I'm not getting stuck with some shit that I don't want. Yeah, yeah I've uh, in the past like tried to. It depends on the price because there's been like no return shit, but like mm-hmm. there was. I remember when Prodigy died, rest in peace, Prodigy. It's actually like his three year anniversary, like yesterday or some shit. Yeah. Um, I wanted to buy some official Mob Deep merch to support. Um, but I couldn't the Mob Deep website, like, dude, Mob Deep is like there's such like a weird because they have so much respect and like there's no like real official website. So like everybody's mm-hmm. just making like that infamous shirt. Mm-hmm. I saw like a good what to me like seemed like a legit one, and I was like, all right, I'm a cop. It's only twenty bucks, so like we'll see. It might be like mm-hmm. dog shit quality, but if it's official, like whatever. And I get it, and like it was a dude that like did a direct a garment himself, like clearly. So it's like, but it was only twenty bucks, so I'll risk twenty to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I just I, if it it didn't work out, so I added it to the pile that like girls can wear. You know what I mean? Like the I don't want them to have these shirts. Yes. <laughs> they can have these other shirts. There was yeah. in the other shirt pile. Yeah, I purchased. I mean, I purchased two t-shirts. I mean, sometimes I purchase a shirt for a raffle, and and now I'm kind of pissed that I'm stuck with it because I didn't win the raffle. You know what I mean? Like the fucking yeah. New York City. I purchased this long sleeve uh, Ben and Jerry's t-shirt that they have, and I I didn't win, and I can't fucking sell the t-shirt. And I purchased from Staple a Black Lives Matter T-shirt, but I actually I'm I was gonna purchase that regardless, but uh, Staple had the Black Lives Matter T-shirt yeah. uh, for the raffle. They did that raffle, yeah. That I didn't mind, but the fucking yeah. New York City joint, man. I'm like, uh, I'm stuck with a fucking a uh, uh, cow print tie dye T-shirt long sleeve, and I'm like, where am I wearing this to? Yeah. 
Yeah, unless yeah. I unless I somehow get the Ben Jerry's, but I'm like, where am I? Where am I wearing this shit to? Yeah, you, you can't. You got the t-shirt, no sneakers. Yeah, if I do buy these Travis Scott sixes, I will be sure to wear them when I go to the circus. When you go to the circus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where my nice have up, shoes. Are you have an upcoming date to go to the circus, Luke? Your, your yeah, plans? Of course, of course. Well, now <laughs> that I'll have the now that I have the clown shoes, I'll be able to go. <laughs> That's the requirement. Oh, what do we think of these? Uh, of these? Uh, the Sean Weatherspoon Asics. Can we pull those up? Yeah, hold on. I got them. I got them up still. Uh, or I did. Hold on. Cover me. I got them uh, right. Here. Basketball still not happening. Just they updating. Are, <laughs> they are in coming right now. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, first off, I hate mix and max shoes. I think I've been on record saying that I like both of my shoes to be the same color and mm -hmm. stitch pattern. Mm -hmm. You are um, consistent with that, yes. Yeah, I mean, but other than that, I mean, these are cool, man. You get five different colors for the ASIC, I don't know what they call their symbol. The hashtag whoosh, thingy. The whoosh. The whoosh. <laughs> the um, whoosh. Yeah, but I mean, this is just like a money grab uh, pulled off his Air Maxes. This isn't like, I mean, these are cool. These are fine. Someone was wearing them. Uh, I'd be like, all right, cool. Nice weather spoons. But like, you know, the, the Air Maxes are better. That's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've talked, we've discussed like Sean's uh, Air Maxes on his podcast, and we've said like, those are like transcendent sneakers in terms of, you know, regular people can just be walking down the street and know what those are. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like how fire the Air Max were. These, I'm not, you know, I mean, like I said, they they feel like he, you know, he's just, he wants the loud, colorful shoe. That's what he did with Nike. But, you know, these are, they're all right. They're, like you said, they're nothing crazy. They're all right. His logo stinks. Sean's, this little SW with the P symbol in it, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like he he was trying to do a Fujiwara shit right there, and it just didn't work out. He was like, instead of lightning, I'll use the peace symbol, but then I'll write my name in it. Hmm, it's true. You think it's sloppy? Is that what it is? No, I don't think it's sloppy. I think it's just uh, he like tried to do what everyone else was doing, but he uh -huh. he like tried to add his own unique spin to it. it didn't work. That's what uh -huh. my initial thought is. Hmm. Also, I didn't know until I, – I don't know when, uh, but I didn't know Atmos was on these also. Yes. I did not know that either. That's what Which, they're releasing. They're, they're releasing the Atmos in Japan. Yeah, at, at Atmos. Yeah, I guess I never, like, read that part. Or if mm -hmm. I did, I didn't register it because that's a weird triple label to me. Yeah, where you know? Spoon, Asics, and Atmos. Atmos. Yeah, I mean, like – they got their own patch. So, like, they must have been on in on this collab early. Mm hmm to get their own like attachment to it but that might have been an afterthought though like you never know what happens like where like oh we'll, we'll get atmos to sell it and then they just get it like patched and thrown i don't know but that's a weird triple label mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> and that's that's a weird one where it doesn't add any value actually that kind of takes away some of the value to me to have Why? atmos on it no it doesn't to me it doesn't it's... well does it add any uh yeah, it adds to, to more of the to more of the hype behind the sneaker. Now it's it's an Atmos Sean Weatherspoon ASIC, you know what I mean? So Atmos has some great collabs in their day and fucking Weatherspoon. Yeah, absolutely. Don't want to take that away from them, but it's it, it to to me in this, I don't know, it kind of devalues it. Where it's like, why do you need Atmos? You didn't need it with Nike. I just I feel like it needed it, uh, what do you mean he didn't need it with Nike? What do you mean? There were, the Nike wasn't a triple label. Unless no. you count the two sneakers being separate things but no nah, that well you know he, there's no triple label on that other one why would why do it with asics because uh -huh. nike is the number one sneaker company and asics is a little bit yeah, lower but, than uh, that. but aside from that like i don't know like just like where the, the story doesn't even make any sense here like like why would you add them in there's no like relevance to the shoe sean story at least they're not advertising it doesn't make uh, it, mm -hmm. i don't know I mean, it's still cool. I'm not trying to take anything away from it, but it's like, all right, like, why did you do that? That's fair. I 164 bucks for these aren't bad either. Not bad. Pretty decent price point. Yeah, pretty, yeah. I wonder. I wonder how much uh, resale value would be on these. 
Hmm. It depends. This is one of those ones where, like, Sean – it based off the Nike, like, you would think – the value of Sean's name on stuff is high, but who really knows? Uh, not, not, I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, it, it's definitely, you know, it definitely holds some weight, but I mean, you, you're comparing a, a, an Air Max Nike, you know, mashup compared to these ASICs. I mean, it's yeah. two different entities. Like, like the, the, the hype behind the, 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 the Witherspoon Nikes were, insane yeah because like, yeah, it's, like it's like a one-of-one one mm-hmm. air max combination mm-hmm. and then here it's just an asic yeah it's just an asic yep not mm-hmm. just an asic but you definitely yeah but you know what i mean mm-hmm. like it's just it's like a it's it's a it's a pre-made silhouette yeah i get what you're saying i don't know it's just i'm i'm i uh i i, I go back and forth on sean so much Mm-hmm. Not as like a uh, a store owner, but just as a personality, because mm-hmm. um, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make his name part of a label. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he and he did it uh, unconventionally with the Air Maxes. With these, I mean, it's very prominent that he's got his name on the insole. It has nothing to do with round two, mm-hmm. right? It's it's mm-hmm. just him. Um, I it. Yeah, and I just go back to why Atmos. I don't know. But him is – because he also has this Adidas thing coming up. Mm-hmm. Right. So watching – I'm trying to watch him to see where his value will come from because he already has the value in round two and all the other shit. But with him trying to make a label, I don't really don't see it. Like, you put him next to, like, Jerry Lorenzo, it's like, yeah, of course I'm going with Jerry. So, I don't know. I'm just excited to watch what happens with these. Uh, quick question. Are, my, are you guys picking up the fireworks going on in the background? No. No. Well, there's fireworks going on in the background. Dude, there's even, there's house. fireworks in Boston too. I don't know what's yeah. up with this fireworks shit. Ever since COVID started to die down, everyone got fireworks. I don't know what's up there, with that. There was like a theory going on on Twitter that was saying that like especially in like the Bronx and Brooklyn that uh it's it's like a psychological warfare thing where they're trying to get people used to the sounds of fireworks to like desensitize them. And to uh, create a I, listen, I don't listen. It's just a theory. No, I don't get. Okay, because I'm, no, to, I'm, I'm all ears here. So they're saying that it's like it's supposed to desensitize people to the sound of like fireworks because they're similar to gunshots. So like trying to create a war zone like feeling for people's brains, so they're sleeping less uh, and they're less uh, inclined to go to the protests. And the reason why people are thinking this is because some people have been going out and searching for these fireworks where they're coming from. And there's been a couple instances where they're coming from uh, fire department houses and police department houses. Huh. So like there's one video of like the precinct in, uh, in uh, up in Harlem, I believe is shooting okay. off fireworks right now. Let's do this. Just, this is some shit I found on Twitter. Huh. All right. I don't know. I, look, I'm not mad at it. I'm just trying to think. That's, but they're, they're even here, dude. I heard them but last night. Also, to be fair, there's always, like, I've always heard, like, during the summertime, there's always, like, at least one or two people that are always uh, letting off fireworks in oh, my neighborhood. Course. But it's always going to be, but it's never, like, every night. It's, like, for the past, like, yeah, for the past, like, 30 days, like, not 30 days, but, like, past two, three weeks, it's been, like, almost yeah, been, every night. Yeah, it's been nonstop. Yeah, I know. That's I know. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're in for we're, we're in for a really uh, interesting summer uh, to say the least, you know. I feel like um and I and I've said this before and I'll say it again, you know, if um you know, I know I know a lot of us have day jobs and you know, we're fortunate enough to go back, but um there's going to be a lot of people who don't have that luxury. Mm-hmm. And if Congress and you know and, and Trump and everyone else they don't figure out a way to get people some money after July 31st, then it's going to be really rough. Yeah, it's for a lot of people. Ugly. And when that happens, crime goes up, and mm-hmm. if it's hot, and um, and we already have, you know, police that are not uh, really wanting to do their job because of the way they feel that they're being treated. Um, you know, we already. I just saw a stat where you know there was like it was like 20 shootings in. New York over the last couple of days, you know, and um, 
And I'm just, you know, I'm just very interesting in terms of, you know, like I said, this is a street weird podcast, but it, it also lends the question. It's like, all right, you know, if, if we're taking this back or if this error, if we're going to get to an area in New York and around the world where things are crazy, it's like, I'm, who wants to wear expensive stuff when you become, can then become a, a big target? You know, you already, I mean, when you wear, you know, nice shit, you, people always are looking at you a lot of times, but now it's like, people are jobless people are hungry yeah yeah. like you know you know are you going to wear those you know those off-white you know uh air force ones you know when it's you know when it's when people are really out here with no jobs and really hungry who knows you know is that is that the smart move Mm. yeah it's true yeah we'll have to see how this goes and find out Mm mm-hmm so you know and I mean, right now, I mean, the way things are, I mean, who, the way New York or at least the East Coast is, like, dude, like, who's wearing anything nice anyway when all you're doing is going to and from your house? You yeah. going, you you going maybe to work now, and and that's it. But there's no, at least you know, with us, there's no comedy, there's no nightlife, there's nothing to do. And you even see in, in other states where you just saw, I just saw a video of comedian D.L. Uli. Uh, he was performing in, in what, Tennessee and passed out. I mean, and then found out that he had COVID. So it's like, you know, as much as we're trying to get back to the normal, like it's like, there's a lot of uncertain, as those commercials say, in these uncertain times. Yes. And, uh, uh, and he's trying to, what do they do? They use so many words. They use yeah, you, certain trying times. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it's a lot of things that's, 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 that's going on right now. So, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So wait, let me ask you guys a question just to maybe after this, we'll wrap it up for a second. Um, so uh, we got 4th of July coming. Mm-hmm. We got people wanting to be outside. Like Lawrence Mm -hmm. was just saying, we got people who uh, have uh, very little ability to quote unquote flex. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, I don't know if we've actually addressed it with other holidays or just in general, but like, so like I brought up earlier, uh, Nike got this 4th of July pack coming. Seven different silhouettes, all red, white, and blue. Uh, Nothing too like over American. It's not like a star pattern or whatever, but are you guys the type of dudes to wear a themed shoe on a holiday? Hmm. Not really. I've never really worn like a, uh, I've worn a USA shirt on 4th of July, but that's about it. That's as far as I'll go. You don't got red, white, and blue kicks you got for 4th of July. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, me? All right, I'll say this. And, I, and Chris, I think you and I, we've discussed this in the past, maybe privately off the podcast. But remember the I had the moon landing Air Max nineties, the, the yes. original ones, not the yes. yeah, the, the silver yeah. joints with the flag on the back. And I sold those. And I and I think, you know, and granted I shouldn't have sold them, but I sold them, you know, because you know, and uh and, and Chris was like, you know, you those are a pair of shoes you can really only wear on Fourth of July Fourth of July, because of the yeah. flag and you know, the the, the significance of the, the shoe. Um you know, plus, you know, I got to the point where I was like, you know, the amount of money I was able to sell them for, I was, it was a lot over market value. And I was like, I'm definitely going to get rid of those shoes. But uh, I've worn plenty of red, white, and blue shoes on the 4th of July. I wore a pair, the, the Air Dirty Nellies on the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. And I've, you know, I've worn those, uh, you know, I've worn Michael Jordan Bullet jerseys on the 4th of July. Like, you know, I mean, they're, you know, so it, I, I'm not going to sit here and act like I, I haven't worn um, I mean I don't do it every year because I haven't but I mean I've, I've done it in the past I yeah. go on a year by year basis based on what holiday it is and see mm-hmm. how, if there's a non corny way I can do it mm-hmm. yeah. that's basically if, if I could do it and it's not over the top subtle mm-hmm. I guess if I can do it subtly I'll do it but like these, hold on, let me pull them up. These are a great example of the subtle uh, shit because they're not like overly, unless they're, they're not showing angles that I can't see. I got a, I got a group pick and I got the regular picks. 
But, like, these aren't over the top. Like, they're clearly red, white, and blue. Like, that's yeah. USA all day. But they're not, like, over the top crazy. Like, you could wear those uh, Air Maxes, both yeah. of them. I don't know about those 270s, but, like, you could wear those with a lot. Those Air, Air Forces aren't bad. Even the foams aren't bad. You can't yeah. wear them with denim because you'll look weird. But, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of these are all right, you know? Yeah, the foams are probably the most, like, no, the phone, the 97s too. Nah, actually, a lot of this, you're right, is a very lifestyle shoe as opposed to 4th of July shoe. Uh, the Prestos look nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, they, Presto, yeah. these all kind of look not bad. I mean, it's just weird. The, the problem with blue shoes is wearing them with blue denim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't be overly blue, and it's weird. But, like, like those 97s, you can wear those 97s all day. Mm -hmm. Those are, yeah, those are socks. Good, good, like white to uh, white balance on the, mm -hmm. on the red and blue. I like it. Yeah, but I mean that was uh, that, I was just curious because I yeah, I, Lawrence, I knew you and I spoke about it at some point, but I don't know when or where or yeah. Wow. Wait, oh, some whoops, shoes. I mean, right. Halloween is like one of those. We were talking about it in Halloween, like certain shoes to wear. Like if you're gonna have like a chance to wear shoes like that, like you gotta wear the the what do you call it the a6 the yellow mexico 66 ones if you're going to be bruce lee yeah or like, or like one of the shattered backboards or perfect halloween sneaker yeah 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 mm -hmm. costume sneakers versus uh theme sneakers that's a i think those are two different things i think it's more like authenticity to the original for the costume versus like the feet like mm -hmm. yeah cheddar yeah. backboards <clears throat> In general, just a great shoe, never mind on Halloween, because that's also subtle where you're not going to do anything too crazy. But, mm -hmm. right. yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of it for this week, guys, unless you've got some final thoughts or any other topics you want to bring in. But I think we can wrap this baby up. I mean, there nah. were closer looks oh. at, the, uh, at the, uh, the Grateful Dead bear shoes. I don't want to mm -hmm. look at them because I don't think I'm going to win them. So they're just going to make me mad. <laughs> that's true. Those are coming out, the Grateful Dunks. Uh, people are starting to starting to do that. They're starting to do that thing where they're like, "What's your favorite Grateful Dead song?" Oh, you're not a Grateful Dead fan, blah blah blah. Oh, you've never listened to them ever in your entire life. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but they're like, they're well, pretty decent shoes. Besides the fact that they're Grateful Dead, like you know, they do it with all. I remember, I remember when I when people got MF Dooms, they were like, "What's your favorite?" I mean, it's it listen. Yeah. You you like if you like the shoe, you like the shoe. Oh, that's it. You don't have to be the, the biggest Grateful Dead fan. If you like the fucking mm -hmm. shoe, you like it. Yeah. There was a time uh, when, we, when we would just look at a colorway on a shoe and just be like, I like that. I don't really care about the origins of mm -hmm. it. You know? The, these sneakers are very interesting in general because most of what the band is known for was definitely way before the kids were born. Oh, and of course. You can't, yeah, and you can't like fault the kids for... I, we had a similar conversation was like last episode, the episode before, but like they don't know any better, but they just yeah. see the mm -hmm. hype because we generate it for them. So yeah. they're like, oh, there you go. All right. I mean, if you mm -hmm. haven't listened to a Grateful Dead song, you should maybe mm -hmm. throw one like in the dark. Just throw like the most popular one on and listen. Mm -hmm. like, I don't, yeah, I, don't I mean, you're not missing much as somebody who's listening to them, but mm -hmm. you're not you're not missing much. <laughs> I don't like them personally. Lawrence listens to Grateful Dead all the time. All the, yeah, I wait, that's my wake up music, my workout music. That's my, <laughs> fucking, that's my tunes, man. He's eating. He's eating Cherry Garcia while he's listening to Grateful Dead. Oh, yeah. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, if that's it, guys, then um, I guess that's it. Uh, Zara's shutting down. They're going online, but I guess we can hit that later. Um, we, yeah, we, let's talk about that next week. There's a lot of um, a lot of stores, you know, in 2020, like. That are, that are going uh, under. And I, I definitely, that's the thing I want to lead off with next week, unless something crazy happens. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so bringing this home, you can follow us at Not That Cheney, at LZD325, at Trevisus on Instagram. I think our Twitters are something the same or similar. Uh, we got same. Sub Podcast NYC um, mm -hmm. for their Instagram there. We got an email and a phone number attached to that. You can email us, you can text us. We got a Discord that's popping off. People are joining every week. Um, mm -hmm. Just listen, like, subscribe. Just do the shit, guys. Come on, it ain't that hard. Yeah. Just do us a yes, solid. sir. Yeah, yeah, Actually, you know what? We haven't gotten uh, an iTunes review in a while. So if you're listening right now and you haven't reviewed on iTunes, just do us a solid and do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
we'll figure out. I, yeah, we gotta we gotta buy our we got merch with Becky. Like, yeah, come on, guys. Now's the time, baby. Now's there the time. Go. Support the boys. All right. Big uh, help us with that algorithm at least. That's mm -hmm. the least you could do for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't have to go around almost buying fake shoes. <laughs> Um, but that's it. All right. Sub podcast, the streetwear and lifestyle discussion, and we will talk to you next week. Yeah. Yeah. See ya.